In our rapidly changing world, the transportation industry is undergoing a revolution. And one sector at the forefront of this revolution is the electric bus industry. Today, we'll take you on a journey to explore the ins and outs of this dynamic and sustainable mode of transportation. Electric buses, just like their name, are powered by electricity, making them an eco-friendly alternative to the traditional fossil fuel powered buses. These silent champions of the road are making a positive impact on the environment and improving the quality of life in cities around the world. But there is a big issue behind these electric buses. A. They are extremely expensive and B. Setting up the charging infrastructure for these buses is extremely difficult. So why are electric buses getting so much traction? First and foremost, they significantly reduce air pollution. Traditional buses emit harmful pollutants contributing to smog and poor air quality. Electric buses, on the other hand, have zero tailpipe emissions, helping to combat climate change and create healthier cities for all. So to tell us more about the ins and outs of operating and manufacturing these electric buses, we have Mr. Naga Satyam, the Executive Director of PMI Electromobility with us today. Thanks, Omkar, and uh, thanks for the team energizing for giving me this opportunity. So let's jump right into it. The average price of a 9 meter or a 12 meter electric bus is upwards of 1 crore, which is significantly higher than its IC counterparts. So, at the forefront, electric bus seems are clean and green, but certain reports indicate that the overall cost over the lifespan of these electric buses, which is about 12 years, is significantly higher than the cost of the traditional IC counterparts. So let's ask Mr. Naga Satyam on the operational cost for these electric buses and what is the break-even period in various tier 1, tier 2, tier 3 cities. So, uh, so you have your uh, you know, question has got, uh, like you have two questions. So first I will uh, tell that the first question is, uh, I will explain you the business model. See, the business model is simple. So government of India tells us, like uh, not the government of India, suppose you take uh, uh, where I am running buses, uh, suppose Delhi government. So I have got a contract through CESL for X number of buses. See, uh, when they CESL, when they advertise for a tender, they said simple, 170 kilometers, the bus may, will give a minimum guarantee to you and uh, you quote the price and this will be the subsidy. Of course, in Delhi, the CSL second tender, we don't have a subsidy. We quoted without subsidy one. So we they will give us number of kilometers and we have everything is ours except fare collection. Fare collection is the responsibility of the state transport undertaking or the municipal corporation. So they put their own conductor and uh, they collect their fare. For us, I have to keep my bus ready. That's all. In the morning, they say five o'clock your buses, this number of buses, they will give us give us a schedule. Like suppose you in uh, uh, Rajkot, we have 50 buses. They give us a schedule. First bus will be out around 5.50 from the depot. And the last bus will be 6.45. So all 50 won't go out like at a time. So with five minutes of interval and they go in different different routes okay so i have to see that my i have to upkeep the fleet and all this is the business model uh, like uh, how all electric buses in our country are running as of and you are you are talking about the break even see it depends on uh, like you know city to city like like in a small in a small city like you know there are three tires tire one tire two tire three if really take tire one Tier 2 is Lucknow, Tier 3 is, uh, example, uh, uh, a small city like, you know, I can say maybe uh, Aligarh. It's a Tier 3. See, you know, in Delhi, 200 kilometers, your bus can do very easily. So the more you bus, the more you run, the more you earn. So in Delhi, my break even would be around uh, maybe in three and a half years. Four, three and a half to four years. Yeah, yeah. Three and a half to four years. I will, I will recover my cost. Okay. And uh, whereas in a smaller cities, it will go to another six months, maybe four and a half years. So, but this is everything like, you know, uh, uh, what you call, everything depends on number of kilometers we do. Any bus. Charging infrastructure have to be one of the most crucial elements in running and operating these electric buses. But setting up these chargers is extremely challenging, right from getting the adequate power supply for these chargers to the civil work to ensuring that the chargers are resilient and reliable enough to keep up with the high demand capacity of these electric buses. So 
how does one generally go about setting up this charging infrastructure i like to see why electric buses were an instant success is because most of the buses are depot based charging solutions like you charge in the morning again you come back and charge in the night okay in between you get a like you know uh, opportunity charging is also there and uh, government of india like you know, as part of the entire uh, you know the system they have luckily they have given this creation of charging infrastructure also to us see this creation of charging infrastructure has got two parts one is uh, civil part the other one is electrical part so what uh, the government has done is uh, they have see another thing giving an electric connection that upstream uh, electric connection is it costs a lot okay but since it is as a kind of an infrastructure so government they are giving upstream electricity part of their entire uh, thing otherwise you know the charges you know the cost will increase see every see for me if I, if i cost finally i have to ultimately load it to the stu only then stu has to load it to the clients to the customers or to the people who are traveling commuters because if the travel if the ticket charges are 10 rupees if you reduce it then it will become eight tomorrow see i tell you one and one more thing i'm quite confident with this electric buses more and more electric buses i see it i see uh, like you know i can very for i can uh, well foresee that you know uh, uh, whatever the stus you know they are not in uh, they are in most of the stus are in red actually they will be able to do much better in next 5 years Across the globe cities are embracing electric buses as a sustainable solution to their public transportation needs from London to Shenzhen from Santiago to New York City electric bus fleets are expanding demonstrating the positive impact they can have on urban mobility electric buses is not just a trend it's a fundamental shift towards a cleaner and a more sustainable future as technology advances and the demand for sustainable transportation grows we can expect even more innovation and investment in the electric bus sector so the next time you see an electric bus cruising down the street remember that it represents more than just a mode of transportation it symbolizes progress a greener tomorrow and a world that values efficiency and sustainability